Okay, so here we are starting up ZBrush for the first time and you'll notice that when ZBrush starts up, you get this light box menu that easily allows you to access different files and folders. It's a great um, addition to ZBrush, but right now we're not going to deal with this because we don't want to rely on going directly to uh, a Dynamesh or a project folder without really understanding what's going on with this interface. So what I want to do is either click on hide or light box or in the tool menu on the sidebar on the right side there's also light box tools. If I click on any of these buttons it will hide the menu or you can choose hide and the first thing you'll notice that's different from my screen to yours is that I have a blue or a light gray background and my work area <coughs> excuse me is taking up the entire uh, uh, screen work area so you may find that you have like a grayscale background that's probably cropped and you'll have these uh, it will be framed with a darker gray or black around it so you won't be utilizing the entire work area so let me just walk you through that so before anything we'll start up and we'll turn off lightbox then we'll go to document and choose new document and if you notice to the right of new document it says auto fit window size so this will fit the new work area to whatever screen resolution you have so by hitting new document it will get rid of my blue background but it'll give me an entire work area so you see corner to corner I don't have a frame like you may have and if I want to customize the color of the background which I highly recommend then you will choose this a color from the color wheel so in this case I'll go back to my light blue gray background and once the color is chosen you can see it in the foreground color box here you can go to document and choose back this button right here represents the uh, document background color so if you click that the color will now be inserted into the background and you might also have a gradient set something like this so then I can turn this all the way to the left to get rid of the gradient and uh, if you prefer a gradient you can customize it so I can actually add a little bit of a gradient there change the uh, the middle setting of this gradient so if I want it more dark or more light I actually prefer to work without a gradient and I actually like a little more blue in my background I like to feel like I'm I have more of like a sky background I always think of this as if I were working in clay and I was working in a room the room will be light and bright and therefore and want my background to represent that kind of brightness so I always give a lighter color background some people prefer to work with a black background it's perfectly fine whatever's your preference so once that's set and if I like this color so much that I want it to always appear in my startup I can go to save as startup doc once I click startup doc I won't click it because I actually like the color I have it I want to overwrite it but if you wanted to keep this as your startup document color you can just click this button here and once again this is the document menu and what we did was we hit new document with the auto fit size in there and then we chose a color went back to document choose back and change the range for the gradient and if we like it all and we want this to always be opening up as our startup document then we will click save as startup document so this will instantly customize the startup document of your user interface and also maximize the work area so make sure before you begin working you do this